Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Quick video on how to read a dial caliper. First thing you want to note on that screen right there is that you're in inches and every little mark is one one thousandth of an inch. So pause the video, figure out this measurement, and then I'll go over it. So I look on the bar here, I see the six. The line for the six is after it. So this is 0 0.658. So 658 thou. Put a new setting on here. Try and do this one here. So I look on the bar and I see 1.154. So this one is 1.154. Let's try another one. Make it a little harder. Here's our next one. This one's a little tricky because you can see the nine, but you can't see the line of the nine. So this one is 0.8. Nine six, eight hundred and ninety six thousandths of an inch right here. Here's our next one. Go ahead and pause the video and try it. One point seven seven five. So one and seven hundred and seventy five thou. Put another one out here. Okay, here's our next one. Go ahead and try this and then unpause the video. I look on the bar right there and I see point four. 42, so 442 thousandths of an inch. Here's the next one, go ahead and try this one. Three from the bar, big three, so three inches, 3.176. All right, well hopefully that helped figure out uh, how to read a dial caliper. Um, hopefully it's staying in focus. A couple things about a dial caliper. Um, there are four ways to use it. One is you could use these on the inside measurement, these on the outside measurement right here. This could be finding the depth of a hole. And then you could actually also use this right here to find the step height as well. You always want to close this thing very gently. It is a precision tool and zero it out. Like that before you start.